Now, I've got to say, I keep getting amazed by the uh, weakness of the Albanese government. It still refuses to say a word of criticism as Solomon Islands, an island nation right on our border, as its leader pushes from democracy to something looking increasing like the Cuba of the Pacific, funded by communist China. Now, earlier this year, the Solomon Islands Prime Minister, uh, Sokovari, he signed a secret defence deal with China, has now banned two naval ships from the US and Britain from docking for supplies. And last week it said our Navy couldn't use this, their ports either. Now it says it can because it's, the Prime Minister's just about to visit here to see ours, so, you know, got to be a bit sweet. But that's not all. The Solomons also want to postpone next year's election until 2024, claiming it can't afford to hold an election when it's also hosting the Pacific Games next year. And what's more important, the Albanese government has now offered the Solomons even more money, this time to hold the election next year as planned. But once again, not a word of criticism today from Foreign Minister Penny Wong. We have made an offer of assistance uh, uh, and it's a matter for Solomon Islands as to whether they will respond and how they wish to respond. So ultimately, they are a parliamentary democracy. Uh, I understand, as you said in your, uh, I think, earlier uh, question, uh, there's uh, legislation before the parliament that's domestically controversial. That's ultimately a matter for their parliament to resolve. Joining me is Peter Canaloria, who's an opposition MP in the Solomon Islands and chairs this Foreign Relations Committee. Peter Canaloria, thank you so much for your time again. Is your Prime Minister going to take our money and hold the election next year as planned? Well, good evening and thank you for having me again. Um, you know, he just he just released a, a response uh, to the offer, ah, um, calling it news. an assault uh, on us, uh, on our democratic uh, parliamentary democracy. Um, and saying Excuse it is in, in, inappropriate timing. Yes, that just Excuse came out me, of We're offering ago. money to hold the election as is supposed to occur, and that's an assault? That's an assault, according to Mr. Sogovare, on our parliamentary democracy. Um, once again, I, I keep on saying that this, uh, this government and this prime minister uh, is not to be trusted. Um, uh, and, and he does things uh, to the whims and uh, um, um, uh, the, the instructions of, of, of Beijing. Uh, it's, it's getting very, very clear for us. The reason for uh, um, postponing elections was the cost. We couldn't afford to do two big events in one year. That's been said over the last year, over two years already. And then today, uh, we, we get an offer, a very generous offer. Uh, by the way, Australia has been helping Solomon Islands elections in the past as well. So it's a historic uh, kind of a support that Australia has been giving. Uh, and, and once again, uh, this time around, but now it's getting rebuffed. Peter Canaloria, th this is really frightening. Now, look, you're there. Uh, you know this better than almost anyone. What is this man's game? You know, he's got the secret deal with China, banning US and British naval ships, ordering your state-funded media not to criticise the government, and now calling it assault when we offer money so we can hold the election as is due under your constitution. Um, I'm, I'm frightened. Is this guy a sort of uh, Mugabe of the Pacific? What's going on? Well, I think, I think it's now just exposing himself as, as uh, somebody that we have known all along. At least I have, uh, in terms of um, uh, his leanings. It's, it's more than just a um, um, uh, behaviour. I think it's ideological as well, and that's even more dangerous. Uh, so, so the idea yeah. that, that we are, are looking to appease uh, somebody who doesn't believe in our values uh, is, is very dangerous. Uh, and that is something that's exactly happening here. Uh, and I think he's just exposed himself to the people of Solomon Islands, uh, the real person that he is, by calling uh, the, the offer an assault. Uh, the real assault is what is happening in Parliament today. As we speak, earlier today, uh, they, they are planning to uh, disregard our parliamentary processes and push this bill for a postponement of our elections, disregarding our committees and our hearings to the public on this. This is the real assault that we're facing here. Oh, Peter, look, what worries me is this uh, government's deal with uh, China allows Chinese forces to suppress trouble if uh, asked by the government. 
Honestly, I, I worry about the next step that's uh, coming in and I, I pray for your safety as well. Peter Kenaloria, thank you so much for your time and thanks for bringing us the news. Really appreciate that.